Hello viewers. I am Daisy, Assistant Professor of Environmental Sciences and I am going to present to you about a relationship. Wondering about whose relationship? Of a famous politician or an actor? Of course not. It's about a relationship that occur in the whole world. One of the reasons for the functioning of the earth. Wondering what? Yeah, we are going to see about mutualism, a type of biotic relationship or interaction. We all know that the earth functions on the basis of interaction among abiotic and biotic factors. Even among the organisms, the different types of interactions take place. These interactions can be intraspecific, that is among the spa same species, or interspecific, that is between different species. Let us now see about one such interaction, mutualism. So what is mutualism? Mutualism is an interaction between two or more species where both the species derive mutual benefits. Let me explain with examples. One of the best examples in the ocean is animal algal mutualism, such as of coral polyps and dinoflagellate algae called zooxanthellae, which are photosynthetic algae that reside inside the coral. The hard coral provides protection by secreting a mucus-like substance as well as compounds needed for photosynthesis to occur to the algae. In return, zooxanthellae photosynthesize some organic compounds from the sun and then pass the nutrients to their coral hosts and essentially giving the coral reefs their beautiful colors. They also aid in the excretion or removal of waste such as carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Now, here the relationship is obligatory, that is, without the algae, the coral would starve to death, called coral bleaching. And if algae didn't have protection, they would be more vulnerable to several organisms. This relationship is so important that if this mutualistic relationship did not exist, it would be very likely coral reefs would not even exist. So this relationship is termed as obligate mutualism. Let's see another example. Butterflies and plants, the relationship. Here, butterflies feed on the nectar in flowers, while the flower's pollen cling to the feet and legs being transferred to other flowers as they feed from flower to flower and thus get pollinated. Here both are not fully dependent on each other and each can survive without the symbiotic partner. So the type of relationship here is termed facultative mutualism. Thus these relationships are for food, protection or propagation. It is a fact that the world functions and exists on such biotic interactions. To summarize, we learnt about mutualisms, their types and importance. Now for the recall session. Think of the relationship between egret and cattle, between the bacteria found in our guts and examine the relationships between them. Maybe we shall see about other types of relationships, only ecological, in the next presentation. Thank you.